Okay, welcome. This is Ju No One Eight Seven here to talk about Xpatter and Minecraft. Um, Xpatter is a program for a controller. Um, it's to emulate a keyboard and mouse. Um, this is a really, really good program. I really like this program. Ever since they first came out, I've been using them. Um, as you can see on my screen, you see the PS3 controller. Actually, it's a I believe it's a PlayStation 2 controller, really, but I'm using it for a PS3 uh, controller. So, anyways, you can see all the buttons. You know, your back R and L2 buttons, your L1, R1, D-pad, slack, start, um, the analog stick, the middle buttons. You know, your, you got your triangle, your circle, your X, and your square. Um, you can also use the center button. This also works will work with a Xbox 360 controller, but I highly recommend using a PS3 controller if uh, you do have one. Um, so let's get started. Uh, first off, thing when you use, do set your mouse up, um, I just went to the tool and just did basically mouse normal. That's all I all you really need. Um, the uh, main reason why I like the PS3 controller, I'm gonna talk uh, tell you, is if you look at your the X Y distance and bearing, they're all at zero. None of them are, are one, two, or three, or any number. They're at zero. Um, the reason of that is because it is at a zero point on the analog stick. It is dead center. Nothing wrong with it. Now, if I move it just a little tiny bit. A little tiny bit and I mean this is like probably not even a millimeter I moved it I mean it's like little tiny bit on my analog stick and you can see that the numbers start increasing really fast I'm trying not to move it okay the Y is at a negative 10 distance is at 10 bearing is at 180 that's because it's down a little bit but if I let go that little tiny movement does that now it's not gonna move move the uh, mouse at all it, it's still in the dead zone and you can increase your dead zone whatever you want so now I would have to be all the way over to past that dead zone for my mouse to move and that's all that is um, basically the dead zone makes it to where it's going to start moving now mine's in perfect center mine's at 25 percent like it like that it's perfect um, with the Xbox, you normally would see it being out of the dead zone and not perfect like the PS3 controller. That's why for the PS3 controller. Now, um, once you have everything set up, when you go into Minecraft, you don't need your mouse sensitivity on your controller set to outrageously fast. You can actually have it pretty slow, so it's easier to control when you're in your inventory um, because... In Minecraft, you can actually change your sen your mouse sensitivity for when you're you know you're playing around and you're not using your actual mouse um, to actually move stuff when you're like mining or gathering stuff or anything of that nature. Um, the mouse is only really used for inventory, putting stuff in your bank, you know, just basically that. And I mean, when you do signs, you will have to use your keyboard, of course, unless if you have probably like I don't know, I guess a little keyboard that you can carry around with you, like I've seen. Uh, I want to know, actually, if that new 3-in-1 um, PS3 controller, it's like a gamepad, uh, keyboard, and a uh, remote control for a DVD player for the PS3, will actually work on the computer, well, the little keyboard would actually work on the computer, too, because that would be really, really nifty. Because it also has a it's also light up keyboard and that would be really nifty, um. Because then you never have to really sit down. You can just lay back and play, or sit and play, or sit on the couch real far away with a big TV and play. Or if you have a projector, play with your you know have it on the wall and sit real far away and have your keyboard and your controller. Um, but yeah, I mean overall this is an easier way to play if you're wanting not to use your you know, keyboard and mouse. Uh, I know a lot of gamers on the 
PC, I actually prefer the keyboard and mouse. I like the keyboard and mouse. I have a really good keyboard and mouse. Um, but, I mean, trying something different, you know, makes stuff a little bit funner sometimes. I definitely liked using the PS3 controller on Minecraft. Really easy and really fun. Um, if you need any help getting your Sony PS3 controller drivers installed or your PS3 controller working, please let me know. I will make a video on how I made mine work. If uh, that doesn't work, let me know and I'll try to help you out other ways. Um, the PS3 controller does work with the charger basically the same way you would charge your PS3 controller you plug it into your PC and it will work just like that um, if you have Windows 7 your drivers will install by themselves but they won't always work now I've had a big problem with it doing that and I had to go through some sites and um, I found if you look up in my top left corner motion enjoy um, and that actually fixed it after I changed some device man went to my device manager and rearranged some stuff and reinstalled the driver the proper way through Motion Joy, and it works fine now. My analog sticks work, my uh, D pad works, all my buttons work um, perfectly. Uh, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you need any help. Let me know. Comment. Peace.